the bugs is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the loving vibes that you send towards my way. It's truly a blessing as I do the same for you. You know, I know days can be hard, but better days are coming if they have not already started coming your way already so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way also if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you just just up giving me your um and you know your positive comment towards the content of my video or you just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information that you love to share with a fellow empath, especially if you need it right now, please go ahead and um share, share away. Or while and while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by my channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And um today release uh the video meditation video i'm listening to today is called release subconscious negative energy clear negative thoughts get rid of energy blocks i love this because number one it has my favorite person uh buddha i don't know if you can see it or not yeah there he is and i just love seeing uh the statues of buddha it gives me peace of mind it gives me clarity whatever but I'm sending those vibes towards your way. But today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Time is narrowing down. So we got to get ready. I mean, we y'all, we're going through so much. We're going through so much. It's like universe. I've been so open towards this. It's like I already feel blessed because I was able to merge with my father the other day. And it's like the more positive vibes. I, you know, I constantly, constantly keep trying to push out. Or even try to change my thought process because you know not every day is going to be a positive day it's not you know but it's just like I try to make sure when I'm pushing out videos I have that loving vibe that calming vibe you know positive vibe that comes towards your way I told y'all before if I feel kind of icky or I feel funky that day I'm not about to make any videos but it's just like with us being activated like I told y'all we uh, we are going through trials we're going through boot camp and it's like it's making us face every single thing that has either stopped us hindered us made us look at anything in a negative way being able to you know convert those things into positive vibes you know I, that's why I try to, I pray for everybody because I know this is something this is a daily task we have to do it's so easy to give up it's so easy to push out negativity but what the strength comes behind is the happiness, the love you feel for yourself, the love you feel towards other people. Even when they're being asses towards you, you still have to push out love towards people like that. Because those are the ones that need the most healing. Um, and it's just going through all that. You know, people are like, Rosalind, what happened to you? I don't know. You know, my dad is like, I used to always look at my dad like, oh, you annoy me. Because the fact is, it's like somebody can say something to you. And you're like, okay, it's all forgiven, you know. Because it takes too much energy to stay mad at somebody. It takes too much energy and too much thought out of your day. You know, just think about how to get that person back or how to one up them or what kind of smart remark am I gonna say you don't have to do that you know if somebody's trying to do that just cut it down just just keep going because days are narrowing down we need to be able to see positivity coming towards our way knowing better days are coming you know even though it's on our hardest day because there's days sometimes I cry because I can feel the sadness you know uh, fit, feel the sadness of energy around me or I could be thinking about a friend that is going through stuff and that makes me sad too because it's like when you're happy I'm happy when good things are going for you good things are going for you and when you're sad I'm sad because I don't want anybody being sad or being stuck in a negative state when we you know life is too precious life is too short a lot of people were denied to have their their you know the next breath there's people that prayed to still be living and they're you know they're gone you know into a different you know they're not gone but they're into a different transition they're in a state 
say of being in a different vibe or whatever you want to call it. But it's just like universe got me pushing out. Hey, let them know times are winding down. Things uh, we are getting prepared for things. You know, with us being empaths, Hayokas, uh, twin twin rays, twin flames, all these things. They got us working on these hard. Even looking at our twin flame relationships, things be going crazy. You know, um, and you're it's, everything is like a learning process. We're all going through certain things, and it might sometimes it can seem unbearable. But darkness knows something is coming, so he's going to try to shake you up the best way possible. So you got to stay woke, y'all. Y'all really do. Because you, if you notice, I mean, you might, you have to force yourself to smile. You know, you have to force yourself to laugh. Sometimes, you know, a good cry or a scream, you know, go ahead and do that. But just don't stay stuck in that negative state for too long. You know, that's not where your heart and your mind needs to place at. You know, you don't need to move in there. That's the place you need to evict yourself out of and go to a happy state of mind. You know, because it takes too much energy for you to be that way. You know, I try to tell people, you know, when you're mad, that takes too much energy out your day. Too much. It ages you. You know, it gives you wrinkles. I ain't trying to get wrinkles like that. You know, I'm, I'm 41. I ain't trying to look like I'm 52. And there, I mean, it's not like even though 52 is not like old, old or anything like that. But I'm just saying there's a lot of people that I know they are in that age and they still look good for that age. And I tell people it, it doesn't matter how old you are. It's how old you, do you feel? You know, um, there's a lot of people that I know, you know, they're up in senior citizens that wish they, you know, they constantly told me. Um, Rosalind, I wish there was things that I did in my lifetime when I was young enough to do it. I didn't give myself that time because I was spending myself, spending time on negativity, spending time on things I really shouldn't have when they wish, you know, because when you get to that age and you can't be able to move the way you want to, you're going to look back at those times and say like, man, I wish I would have did this. But, you know, not to get on to that subject, but it's, it's just like when we're going through stuff. No better days are coming. Something is coming towards us and time is getting cut short. Um, and this is the time, the main time you need to be sticking to your guns and say, you know what? Something happy is, I mean, something beautiful is coming my way. And it's going to catch us all off guard. But you also got to know darkness knows this coming. So he's trying to get as many people on, foot soldiers, negative foot, 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 ugh, negative foot soldiers as he possibly can so make sure you're not on that dark path when you don't deserve to be you don't, i mean everybody deserves to be happy but you need to work on you so you can be able to stay in that happy zone because if not you're gonna be stuck in that negative state of mind and it's not good you know it is it's just like when you can be sad and you know just constantly thinking about the coulda shoulda wouldas or you know this person did this to me or this person had me feel this way. And it's sad when people do that. You know, I pray for folks that got to go through that. You know, my family did that to me too. But I said, you know what? I'm not going to allow you to be affecting my day. I said, I don't even be bothered with you anymore. And I still got these thoughts in my head. And I'm like, what is the, what are they, what is the, what kind of positive impact is this making on my life? Nothing. Nothing. Because it's blocking my blessings. There's so many beautiful things that are heading towards my way. But if I keep on concentrating on that negative state of mind, it, it's going to be blocking all the stuff that, you know, I deserve to have, this deserve for you. You deserve to have, you know, you don't give people that power over you, you know, because we know that there's things coming towards our way. We don't know what it is. You know, it's kind of scary because you don't know what's coming. Um, but it's going it, to, it's something that's going to catch us off guard, but we all truly need it in our lives, you know. They have us working on our twin flame relationship. It has us working on our hearts, um, our frame of mind, our thought process, you know, what we're pushing out, you know, how we're looking at our lives within itself. Um, just so many things that are coming towards our way we need to reflect on. But if it's negative, don't reflect on that. Reflect if you're going to be thinking about negative, think about how it's, this is going to be, you're going to use this as your stepping stone to get towards that light of happiness. So no better days are coming for you. Knowing love, you are always forever loved. You know, even though you might not feel it around you, trust and believe there's some people out there that loves you. Um, even though if they don't express that love, you need to express it within yourself. But no days are narrowing down that you need to be able to be on that positive frame of, uh, positive 
frame of mind. I don't know why I'm getting tongue tied. Work on that positive frame of mind. No better days are coming because they are. Um, push out as much love and light as you can. Heal yourself in any possible way that you currently need to do that for. Think of positive things coming towards your life because they are. You know, you have to be able to pay attention to the signs, pay attention to your numbers. You know, it could be on a billboard, um, on somebody's shirt, or you can look at a receipt or look at the time on your cell phone, the clock, you know, on somebody's license plate and you will see the things that are coming towards your way. Read into what, you know, the angels and the universe wants you to see. Whatever they're asking you to let go of, knowing they have better things for you to be able to pick up. So I hope this is able to resonate with you. No better days are coming. Sounds much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Heal your heart in the ways you need to. You know, let go of the things that is holding you back because better days are coming. And um, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. I would love the chance to hear from you. Even like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. I said that it's 11-11. Um, I'm going to give my shout out to Ahmed77, uh, Treasure Seasons, and uh, Passive Restraint Productions. Much love to you, many blessings, and so now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Um, know that you are truly blessed, forever favored, and always loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I definitely pray for that for you. And I hope you do it for me. And I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.